Hi caregivers, today's topic is on the website CAKE. As always, the information provided in this video should not be used as a substitute for advice from appropriately qualified licensed practitioners of medicine, psychology, ADA, law, or financial planning. On the expanded disability scale, this is a level nine, which is confined. So the nice thing with end of life planning tools is that they allow you to live your life more purposefully in the present and appreciate the relationships that you have. So you're not necessarily worrying about conveying your final wishes while you're trying to enjoy your life. So with that, the resources I will post in the comments section below, but I definitely recommend you contact your elder care attorney or legal professionals. You can visit the CAKE website, use the internet, and then also consult with other caregivers. So it's pretty simple to just log into the CAKE website. They'll let you create your own login ID. So it's pretty simple. You go to joincake.com and just create your profile. So the nice thing is that the site lets you choose on which types of things that you would want necessarily at your funeral. If there are particular readings or rituals or music or food and drink that you would like, um, particular dress code or other. So you can kind of plan almost like you would like a, a, something you're looking forward to, like a wedding. So it's really nice because you can let people know what you want your legacy to be. So if you want physical markers or no physical markers, what messages or stories you want as far as your life or what you don't want shared, what do you want to be remembered for? And then if you want anybody to recognize your anniversary or your death. So for example, if you want a special song played on a particular day of the year. Regarding the healthcare, it will allow you to let people know if you're an organ donor or if you have a healthcare proxy or an advanced directive, um, if you have any HIPAA forms, things of that nature. I don't think you necessarily have to fill this out if you're worried about security on the site, but it's something that is available. So you can tell that the site is pretty intuitive, so I'm not going to go into too much more detail on it. The other options that you can look at is what you would like to do with your digital files, if you have any legal or financial information that you want to pass on, or if you have any other documents or files that somebody might need in the emergency. So then to share the information, CAKE provides a way that you can just link that information to an email, send it off to who you would like to be able to access it, and then the recommendation would be that you update it on a regular basis, such as a birthday or holiday. So for an evaluation, the thing that I liked about this site was that it was pretty clear on the things that you might want to make sure that you convey to other people. So it would be funerals, your legacy, medical information, what you would like with your digital media, legal documents, and then anything else that they would need in the event of an emergency. So there's a quote from Isaac Asimov, which is, life is pleasant and death is peaceful, but it's the transition that's troublesome. So with good planning, it will make it less troublesome for everybody involved. For the PDCA, you want to look at just logging into CAKE and filling in whatever information that you are comfortable with. If there's missing information, you can think about it and come back to it when you're ready. Again, it's a good site for something that you might decide that you just want to keep on a separate document. You might not want to upload all that information necessarily to the internet. Um, but then it, if you do decide to use it, just check in a month or so, revisit your answers and determine if you're satisfied with them, and then use the information as needed. So in conclusion, I wanted to wrap up with a quote from Shannon Adler, which is, carve your name into the hearts, not tombstone. A legacy is etched into the minds of others and the stories they are about to share with you. I hope that information helps. And as always, take care and please subscribe for future videos.